hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUVU Gaming and today we are back in no place like home. So I had kind of a break from this game, but now that the new major update is out, I thought it was a good time to go back and see how it's going with it. And uh, the new update went live a little over a week ago and it brought with it a new zone, new animals, new crops, new NPCs, new quests, new tools and more. And there are so many changes that it is highly recommended to start a fresh game, which of course is not unusual for early access games, but uh, some things have been changed including with how the map is laid out and stuff so uh, there's a high risk of um, getting some glitches and bugs that might never get fixed if you keep playing an old save game but you can of course try uh, it's just a little heads up and uh, there are some other changes like for instance before we had this camp system with some tents you had to set place a tent and then you could uh, sleep in that area and both save the game and kind of pass the night right instead of having to go back to your farm but they have removed that system and instead they have added a fast travel system so that you have to explore and find the far end of a fast travel point and then after that you'll be able to use that fast travel to get to that that specific spot faster from your farm of course or going back and forth faster uh, so that's really really neat they have also replaced the cube bots that we had with robo llamas apparently um, they have also added the bird feeders back into the game so that you can feed them with a certain kind of food and then get seeds back which is nice if you have run out of seeds of a certain kind as long as you still have some of that food like let's say pumpkins uh, if you can't find any more seeds then at least you can use your pumpkins to turn them into seeds and that way get more pumpkins right uh, so that's just some of the changes that have been made in the game but let's just jump into this and get going right so we are right here in the tutorial it looks like they still haven't added a way of skipping it i wasn't really planning on skipping it skipping it because they did mention that they had made some changes and i can already see some things are looking different here uh, just the signs alone are different so wasd you need that to work tab opens your kind of your inventory directly but you also have a bunch of other tabs up here with a whole bunch of information. They have also made it some changes to the UI. I see we have recycled material over here now and prepared meals here. I think they were still over here in the last or the last time I played. Uh, then you have a quest section. Of course, we don't have anything yet, but apparently how the quests um, work or how you get them has also been changed. And I think it said that there's like 28 new quests in the game. So there's like four quest lines and like seven like individual quests uh, that you can find that aren't directly related to a quest line. Uh, then of course there was the inventory and we should be able to upgrade it so we get even more slots but right now we only have these. Then there's an encyclopedia. I'm sure this is going to be filled out some more as you progress but right now it just shows us the default controls. So a good idea to check this if you can't remember how to do certain things. Uh, then we have a map that has definitely also been changed how like the map is drawn I feel like it looks a little bit easier to maybe recognize some places than uh, it was on the old map and I do see some things that are different here that I haven't seen before so that's going to be cool then there's a collectible section here so you can see all the cooking recipes that you have learned and right off the bat we know tomato soup we know mashed potatoes but they have also made a change to how uh, feeding animals uh, works. You still need specific foods to um, tame each animal. When you find an animal in the world, it will prefer a certain type of food. And that's what you have to feed them. So for instance, you need the potatoes for the chickens, right? Uh, but after feeding them or after taming them and you have them at your farm or whatever, wherever they end up after taming them, you will need pet food food and here it says that pet foods just take one potato but apparently you can use all kinds of different ingredients for it it doesn't have to be potatoes you just have to make sure that whatever you put into your cooking station doesn't match another recipe because otherwise you get the other recipe but you can still use like tomatoes or pumpkins or whatever to make pet food i am told uh, and then there's a stamp collection okay this is interesting oh, i like collections that is always fun so that's something to um, to get into 
and uh, then they have made a change or they are planning on making a change to how it works with uh, Ellen here when she's sleeping because now you kind of have to sleep at night so you pass out at 10 p.m. and then you end up back at your farm. Uh, and a lot of people are not really a fan of that because sometimes you have made it out, you know, far on your travels and then you end up being pulled back to the farm and then it's like, it feels like almost starting back over again, right? Uh, so they are planning on making it so that you can actually play through the night and uh, then in the morning, well, you can choose whether or not you want to sleep. If you're at the farm, maybe you want to sleep anyway. But uh, if you don't sleep, then once the night has passed, then in the morning uh, the game will just be saved but you can keep playing right through the night which is a really nice change that they are planning to add so it's not quite there yet okay so we have left click to hit and uh, then we can hold left click to drill okay so you can do this if you want to move something i feel like the drilling is really nice uh, because all the repeated clicking is uh, a little bit hard on the hands and then of course you kind of need to vacuum all of this. Um, let's see if I can get this to work again. So if we drill and then we hold down space to vacuum, you can actually, yeah, these ones over here, you have to upgrade your tool, which we can't yet. Same for this one over here. They need different upgrades for your drill to actually be able to break them. But anyway, if you want to pick things up uh, while you're drilling, you just start drilling and then press space to vacuum and you can kind of pick things up. It um, definitely s saves some time doing it that way. Okay, so cooking station plus E. Then we have some food and some, well, it says trash as well. Why does it show the food? The mashed potatoes, why are they there? Uh, okay, well, we need, well, I guess that's just your inventory, so it shows you you need your scrap to recycle it. Well, I did know that, but okay, let's press E. Oh, okay, so we have to do it this way now. So we actually pull it in there and then press recycle before you just kind of had a little marker above it, and then you press E to get this back, and then you can do it again. Can I just right click? I can also just right click that, it's really nice. It takes longer though, if you're, or at least it did before. I don't know if it still does. Once you're actually playing this, is just to illustrate how it works. Then one, two, three. We have some seeds. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have to press two because we have our seeds on our hotbar. If you have it on three, of course, then you have to press three and so on. Uh, then you can change where you want to place it by moving your mouse and left click to actually place things. So in case we hadn't already gotten any potato seeds, we just got some there. So press two and there we go. See, then when I move my mouse, I can change where I actually want to place these and then I just left click. Yeah, so let's just place this. And, oh, I have more. How many do I have? Oh, look at that. We got them all placed. Aha. I could just have kept them, but there we go. Then hold space because we need water. So we're going to hold space to vacuum up some water. How do I know how much water I have? Oh, is that the, the top right, top left thing? Before it was shown over the hotbar, but I think it's the top left thing. You can see we have our health. And then there's like a water thing because you don't really have to worry about... Um, okay, it tells me to go there, but I could also just do it over here. Um, so let's see, can I get these back right away? Okay, so right click. Yes. You right click, you can water them just like that and see it looks different. Uh, I'm not sure I really like that that much. I actually liked the way it looked before. Um, I thought it looked kind of pretty, but this is definitely easier to see because some people had a hard time seeing which crops they had watered, especially if some of them were growing. Uh, so look at that. Now they are all watered. But anyway, let's just go over here. We will get plenty more as we... Yes, so it is the top left corner. That shows you how much water you have. And then right here, it tells you to right click and then hold. Um, if you want to spray, you can also just do this, which I kind of like doing sometimes. 
Okay, so once you have that, then um, you go and press E. And yes, there's a change here because you actually don't have to vacuum these up anymore. They go straight into your inventory, which is quite nice because it was quite time consuming before having to harvest all your crops and then you had to, um, had to, I just wanted to see if they had already grown, but no, no fast growing here. <laughs> um, then they, um, yeah, it would just take a really long time to actually vacuum all of them up every single day. Okay, so here again, you just have to press E and then you choose. You can choose a recipe down here or you can just uh, you do a cooking experiment. Um, so we can go in here, we can make mashed potatoes. If we press on this, you know, it takes two in here. So using two potatoes, I think though that you can make the pet food like it's just one right now makes one pet food, but I saw someone mention that if you put uh, more in here, what if I put all of them in here? Then it just says cooking experiment. Um, can I split this? See, now it will make me three mashed potatoes. I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't remember how we can split. Ah, like this. Yes, so if we put one there, that's a pet food. And if we put one there, then it says cooking experiment. But someone mentioned that it will still give you pet food though. Let's try it. Yes, look at that. As long as it doesn't fit any other recipe, you will actually get pet food from this. Okay, but let's just put these in here. That should then give us a two um, sets of mashed, mashed potatoes. Mm, did it only give me one? Oh, sneaky. It, it was supposed to give me two. Because it says text two and I put four in there. Hmm, it's probably because it's the tutorial, so things aren't quite working the way they're supposed to. But anyway, then we have this one. Now we can go in here, we can use this and press preserve, which is going to give us um, this down here, the prepared meal. And we got three of those. Nice. Yes. Oh, there's some new stuff here. That's cool. Uh, okay, so we have some kind of furniture. E. Uh, oh, is it a new craft station? Ah, it's a new crafting station. Nice. Well, let's have a look. Recipe training chicken coop. Ew. Used to teach new farmers how to build coops and tame chickens. Doesn't work outside training area. Okay, so we need one prepared meal and then we can actually learn this. So let's learn it. Uh -huh. Now we have learned a new blueprint. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's just try and move on. Then we are over here. So that is the place to learn new recipes. Then we have this place, which is probably our workstation. Yes. So we need to go in here and then we just need one recycled material to make a training chicken coop. Mm -hmm. And poof goes right into our inventory. Okay. Then we go over here. We have to mark, uh, choose it on the hotbar. So press the responding number or corresponding number and then again you can use your mouse to move it around uh, left click to place I think it's E to rotate yes so you can press E and then rotate it so you can place it another way than what you want uh, and then uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah if it's red then of course you can't place it so over here you can't place it uh, there we go now we have placed it look at that we have our little training chicken coop okay then um, we have a chicken plus a potato, uh, press E and then you can tame it. So in case we don't have any more potatoes, which of course we don't because I've been using them up. Then we are just going to go over here to the little chickens and it finds the potatoes automatically on the hotbar if you have them and then you just press E. Look at that. We're going to tame all our little chickens. Ah, look at that. And they will go back so let's just do this of course it doesn't happen this fast usually it will be the following day that you get this stuff but they will move back to the chicken coop which you usually would be at your farm of course but let's grab the eggs that they'll give you and depending on which animal it is they will give you something different so now of course they have been tamed so after this they would give you um you would have to need use pet food for them Okay, so now we have a box plus E and we have to place it on the red spot over here because we want to access that. They have definitely added more stuff to this. 
that is for sure so we're gonna go over here press five do i not have oh i don't have to press five i just have to press e and then i can walk right over here and just interact with it okay thank you we got a little battery and this is the new robo llama which takes batteries so let's give you a battery now we have tamed you oh look at you you are absolutely adorable oh i love it i love it that is so cute let's just press k which is how you um had the ui if you want to take some pretty screenshots yes so we give you that and that means now you're gonna go to uh, this little a uh, robo llama hut mm -hmm. so this is instead of the cute butts we had before i'm gonna miss the cute butts though they were so cute it was the little ones where you have to, had to vacuum off all the trash i like the ones that had the trash on them actually they looked really cute so let's do this we're gonna do this and then of course we can there we go tame them all do you have anything for me yet no uh but there's something new about this yeah okay it shows how many you actually have but apparently now it's something about you can duplicate resources or something so i don't think they give you stuff back the same way the cube bots did before but apparently there will be m multiple of these stations in the world and then you can kind of duplicate some resources or something but that's all something for us to figure out okay so now we have this little one and yes you are gonna be jumping at me just like that uh -huh. so let's try and go over here ah uh, okay it doesn't even tell me how to fight them it just shows me what they're gonna do so yeah this one will spray stuff at us okay it doesn't follow us apparently the other one so it's interesting it doesn't teach me how to actually fight them it just teaches me to be you know try and avoid their attacks they did not show me how to fight them okay but let's see if we can do that in here but yeah you can see you can hit it just like that or you can drill it you can do that too but usually the or the axe does more damage if you hit it uh, you can actually also do um something else i still have water on me so that's another thing you can kind of do this if we can actually get it see oof we can do that as well yep so there are multiple ways there are also other times where you have to do other things to actually uh, deal with these bots in the game okay so let's see we have a building plus r mm -hmm. and a crop plus plus r it's just so we can pick things up so if we press r over here well it doesn't really work does it this one works no pressing r doesn't do anything I press e then i can open it okay so i have components or you can press loot all uh, i tend to like to you know um pull things out manually ah there we go are you sure you want to pick up chest yes okay so there's a little verifier there and apparently you can't do it if there's anything in the chest but that's a good thing and now it will actually let me pick up the plant field filled as well okay this one we have to vacuum up um okay cool 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 well let's go over here and then we have the little ladder mm -hmm. yeah cool look at that we are back at our base i feel like there's some new flowers and stuff here i like this decor here that is so pretty oh and look at the trees over here in the sky and everything there's definitely a lot of changes so this is ellen's base this is where we live and you can see there's lots and lots of stuff that we have to clean up because there's so much trash because the people have been overproducing of course in the world and it's just been filled up with all this trash and it means that actually the story was that most of it has or most of the people in the world have moved on to uh, i can't remember if it was mars or just another planet or something they have left earth behind and then there's only few people left here and of course ellen is one of them uh, but we are gonna have a lot of cleaning up to do because humans haven't been treating earth that that uh, nicely so first new quests some preserves needed from what i heard trading on earth is done using delicious preserves now to get those i'll need to craft the proper equipment before i can do that however someone has to teach me how to do that grandpa told me about a nice shopkeeper living close downhill he might just help me so we need to build a preserving machine uh, okay 
that will have to be our first quest. So if we go in here, we have some components. Uh, we have a grand pass, old farm, some preserves needed. Cool. Nothing new in here. Just wanted to check. And then collectibles wise, nothing new there either. Okay, well, we need some resources. So let's just try and vacuum a bit of this up. Of course, we're going to want to remove all the other stuff uh, as well. But let's just try and take this first and clean out the fast stuff because the time is passing and right now you can't play through the night. So it's a good idea to just make use of the time until um, oh, nice on uh, until you pass out at night, of course. Right. And right now I feel like it is the fastest to just clean out some of this. But there's generally a difference between what you get when you break different types of um, of these trash piles you'll notice some of them look differently and they will give you different types of resources so it's a good idea to pay a little ten attention to that home for the miners it looks like grandpa's old chicken coop has been destroyed and his chickens have gone wild if you want to tame them again i need to build a new home for them so we need to build a chicken coop yes okay let's grab some of this we have our little workstation over here and yeah you can see we have a little chicken right there let's just pick up some of all these so yeah this is what i said we have these um that doesn't really have anything specific on them they will mostly just give you trash you can see see they're just brown if you go over here you'll get you'll usually get other types of stuff from it including seeds uh, so there we go nice and then we have this little thing and it's a good idea to check these out some of them might give you things like recipes because otherwise you'll have to experiment or potentially go and check out the wiki there are people working on a wikipedia for the game so you can probably find most if not all the recipes there if you don't want to experiment yourself but i think you can also find uh, most if not all the um, recipes in the world in those various suitcases that you find uh, then we have this travel tunnels entrance can I actually do anything here yet? Okay, I can. Ew. Oh, so this is where all the fast travel things are. Huh? Okay, find travel tunnels in the zones and unlock them. Oh, look at this. This looks really, really cool. That's, pro that's probably the new winter zone because it's a winter zone that was added in this last update. So you can see the snowflakes up there. Uh, but that's one and two three four and five with this one over there so it looks like there's five places to travel to i don't know if all of them are there uh, i know they have one more big area they're planning on adding i don't think this one is accessible yet it looks like a desert area and that's one that is coming in the future and they wanted to add another smaller zone after that too uh, so i don't think you can access all of these uh, just yet but of course you have to find the far point first so let's try and oh i have to get used to the right buttons here i have to <laughs> left click click it's also been changed a few th times how these things work um and uh, i have played it uh, a couple of times so now i'm i have to make get used to how it is specifically that it works right now but let's see if we can actually kind of progress a bit in this direction because we're gonna need to get over there uh, oh we have a little friend here can I get this? Okay. Oh, what was that? Uh, was that one of these? It didn't really look like one of those. It looked like some kind of round thing. I'm not quite sure what it was I got from that. Let's open this up a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if we can just deal with you. The water thing is quite OP. It doesn't look like they have changed anything with that. So... Uh, it does make things a whole lot easier as long as you remember to fill up your water of course uh, otherwise you can get yourself into trouble if you're thinking oh i can just use that and then suddenly you don't have any more water so smashing time this rubble is just too hard if i want to be able to clean the entire farm i must upgrade my drill so that i can break through stacks stacks of it craft a drill upgrade for breaking rubble okay so that's the first upgrade we're gonna need that's to break these things right uh, let's just clear out a bit here and you can see there's a shop sign there okay let's open this 
Aha, that, oh, I think that's what we got before. I guess I had used one of them. Uh, it was a prepared meal. It's just because it looked more red than it actually looks uh, down here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's clear this out as well. Yep, and then we have a little you over here. It kind of, um, and, well, what is the word I'm looking for? It um, prevents them from moving. Right? It kind of paralyzes them. That's the word I was looking for. Here we go. And then we have a little chicken that has been caught in a cage. Clear out some more of this. And then we have this. I definitely want to go down there as well. Uh, but let's just wait with that. So there we go. See, now we have a chicken. Hmm. An ornithologist might be interested in those, but not now. That is one of the new NPCs they have added. Uh, can I pick it up? Not yet. Okay, it says not now, so I guess I have to come back for it because pressing E or vacuuming or even watering it <laughs> doesn't really, nothing does anything. Um, okay, but it also she also thinks not now, so that's something to come back to. Yep. Okay, before we go to the shop, let's just try and go over here a little bit. Uh, clear this out. Hmm. And, oh, look at you. You are kind of stuck right there. Yep, okay, so we have our first Rombo Llama. Okay, just trying to clear out some of our lists. You can see I get a lot of goodies, a lot of seeds and things. And then we can try to do this. It's really slow with the drill, but it's faster if you just hit like this instead. Um, there we go. But it keeps you safer if you drill. So it might be a little slower because it does less damage, um, but it is safer because you actually paralyze the rub or the robot. So it's just a matter of pre preference which you would like to use, right? Okay, so let's get over here because we do have our little farm and it's probably a good idea to deal with that today to kind of get things started, right? Before I get too caught up in exploring. Yes, that's easy, easily gonna happen. But it's such a nice and chill little game, actually. It's a really nice game. Here we go. I hope they have gotten more of the, the quests fixed. Because, well, some of them might have been removed or changed. Uh, but uh, there were some issues when I last played. Which is one of the reasons I kind of decided to take a break. Um, that a lot of people reported a lot of issues with quests that wouldn't actually complete. So, um, yeah, let's hope that has all gotten fixed now. Okay, so we are going to go in here and we can just right click here, say recycle, and you can see the bar moves much slower now. Usually you can do this like two or even, I think sometimes I could manage to do it three times in a day. If I fill them up right in the morning, then I could maybe loot them twice and then fill them up right before going to bed. But it depends on you actually being right here to do that, right? So you can see it's not going to take a, an enormous amount of time before they are done. But anyway, let's get some potatoes uh, planted here because we are going to need footsies. Okay, there we go. Was that all my potato seeds? Looks like it. And I don't have much else in here. Okay, we have some batteries. We have some eggs. What else do we have here? Oh my, this is really filling up. We have 500 trash right there. We have some wood. Okay. Just put all of this kind of away a little bit. We do still have a chest and a plant field. And we have a little bit of pet food. And a couple of potatoes. Um, okay. Let's go over here. We're going to place that. And let's go and see what we need if we wanted to make. Well, first of all, let's... Let's remove this little section here. Do -do. I am forgetting to hold down my space button. Oh, I'm sorry, little chicken. I'm almost drilling you to pieces. That is not good. Okay, so we got all of this. Um, it's mostly because I was wondering, because now there's like a travel tunnel here. If it would be a good place for a chicken coop in that corner. Mm, but let's see, we can make more of these that just takes some of the recycled material. I only have six, so let's wait with that for, for a moment. 
and then there's the recycling upgrades in here there's the basic for serving machine we're definitely gonna need that but we need to go and get the recipe from this guy and you can see that goes for a lot of them uh, that you actually have to go and get the recipes before you can craft anything in here uh, then we have this drill upgrade rebels this is the upgrade we needed we need seven of these so i need one more and then we need two components then we can do that quest with the drill upgrade we can make more chests but we got to keep the one from the tutorial so we don't really need it right now then for animals this is what we need so we need to go to the shop actually and get the, the chicken coop recipe and as you can see there's a bunch of different people here this is one of the new one jay the ornithologist jay lives in the frozen peaks area close to the passage towards the village so i think well it looks like we have to go to the um this icy biome of frozen well frozen peaks right the new biome to actually get to her uh anything new in here there's new type of sprinkler a tube of sprinkler i don't remember seeing that but maybe it was or maybe it's just gotten a new look uh, but this one will just have a little greater range than this one then we have exploration looks like most of it is pretty much like it was before glass is a new resource so it makes the jewel able to destroy glass waste stacks so that's a new one then we have all kinds of upgrades where you can kind of upgrade your water tank you can upgrade uh, okay berry pickers gloves Yes, crops will yield, produce twice the yield, and then of course you can upgrade things further. There's a better drill, so you drill uh, faster. You can carry more, makes it possible to carry more items, but as always we need to find some people here. Uh, herbal vitamins expands the health bar, adds a chance to receive double resource drops, and increases movement speed. So that's all the different things you can upgrade. And then we have all kinds of decorations, and there's something new here. The first step in building a snowman. Nice! Okay, and then we have basic furniture workshop and an upgrade for it. We have a basic decorations workshop and upgrades for that. So just a quick little look at all the different things that you can do in this game. That's a long way to go. Um, but I think, uh, you know what, let's just grab this. Do, do, do. Yes, and that is not done yet. So I think we're going to try and hurry down to this shop before we clear over time we're going to clear all of this we have to get over there and clear things there's a lot of trash to clean here uh, but let's try and go down to the shop because we should be able to get our first recipe there right if i have what i need for it i might not yet but that's what we need to go and find out so we have even more trash oh there's a new wall there interesting like a stone or well, it's probably a metal wall right you okay nice okay so hi ellen please enjoy your farm you can get anything you need from my shop aha so how do the shops even work here euro dollars nah money is worthless here people trade for various types of delicious food it works like this you give me some food i teach you how to craft stuff yourself we're short on materials you know and you look very crafty nice uh, okay, in that case, show me what you can teach me. Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch of recipes here and they have kind of changed the way they look. So um, I guess the green one is what you can actually get or no, it's what, what is already unlocked. So that's the green one. The blue one uh, is what we have. No, it's what we can get, what we can learn. Yes, yeah, so the gray ones is what we can't learn yet. The blue ones are what we can learn, but we might not necessarily have what we need for it. So we need baked apple. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, eight of these. There's the basic preserving machine. Then there's this, which is what I'm here for. So I need one more potato for this before we can get the chicken coop. So that will probably not be until a couple of days from now, unless I happen to find some potatoes. Uh, because I have to wait for well I think we could have some tomorrow it looks like some of them would be ready to have us tomorrow and then we have even more stuff here so we have kitchen with kitchen upgrades the sprinkler uh, a big backpack and then there's the basic bird, bird feeder mm -hmm. leave veggies for birds get corresponding seeds cool but for this we need some eggs so lots of stuff to learn here but the main thing is I need a potato so that we can progress on this uh, okay, let's have a little look around. There's also a little pooch here. 
Um, not sure we can do anything with this specific one. Oh, hi, doggy. Yeah, no, but we, we can get our own dog and cat, unless they have changed that, but we can uh, later on. Okay, do you have anything else to say? Oh, hi, Mac. No, that didn't was, was didn't really offer anything new. And then show me the, re the recipes you can teach me. Okay, but story-wise, they are adding uh, more. They are gonna add some actual story to the game right now. You kind of just pop in here and don't really know much about what's going on uh, and what the background story is or anything. I just know a little bit of it because I remember reading it when the game first was released into early access. Uh, there's some new. The trees look different. Those strange trees over there there's definitely some new stuff but yeah we need an upgrade before we can get past this so i think we are just do gonna do a little bit more cleaning and uh, that way we might also get some more seeds let's just try and see if we can clear some of this you can see we need the rubble uh, upgrade again over here mm -hmm. so let's just do this and Pick these up, and let's clear some of this out as well. Just because there's so little of it here, I thought it was okay. It feels like very um, like you accomplish something right when you clear an area. <laughs> so let's do that. Is that any I can get from down there now? No, I can't reach it. Okay. Well, we're gonna go over here, and you can't jump in the game, so like space doesn't do anything. If you want to get anywhere, you have to need, use those little. A brown boxes that we you can see there's some red mac red things over here even turrets and things so we need some of those brown boxes to cross over certain areas or block the turrets oh we found another one of these let's see what this one's gonna give us oh a book which is also something we're gonna need used to purchase perks michael millet's guide to self-improvement a great rarity in this day and age <laughs> oh nice yep Okay, we have some more seeds, we have some more of these. I still only have two potatoes. I uh, might want to use those to get the chicken coop before I consider trying to tame some chickens. Well, I can't really tame them until we have a house, I don't think. I think we have to get actually get the house uh, before we'll even be able to try and tame them. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Let's see what you're gonna give us. Oh, more preserved food, that is good. Okay, that everything, I think that's everything we can do down here, so I think we're just gonna head back. Also, optimi optimizations wise, um, I know some people have had issues with running the game. It is something that they are working on, um, figuring out how to best handle that to make the game more optimized so more people can play it. So, um, but I do recommend kind of reading the latest patch notes from this last big update because they do mention uh, things about their their plans, like what they what more they have planned during early access. Um, so it might be a good idea to just kind of glance over that if you are interested in the game. Uh, there we go. Okay, nice. Got all of that, and let's just get these as well. Right, okay, nothing down here we can do anything with. Little mushroom thingy over there, and yes, when we stand here, it will tell us that we need the chicken coop. Okay, let's check out this place. Because there are dungeons in the game, there's all these little places where you have to try and figure out how to actually access some of the other places, like right? get through these doors, for instance. And in some cases, you can only get through because you have to go find the other side. You can see right there, there's something to open this. So um, it looks like we're going to have to figure out how to get, find another way of getting to the other side of this. And then we can actually open it. Oh, I didn't even notice that little butt there. Oh boy. Just trying to see if we can clear out this a bit and deal with you. Okay. Grab that. Oh, there was actually a little chicken down here. Aww. Have to go, gonna have to try and see if I can remember that and save that little chicken because this is not a very good place for a chicken to hang out. And yeah, when it comes to seeds, um, you will find different, or at least that was how it used to be, you'll find different seeds in different areas of the game. So as you progress through 
the different zones, you'll start finding other types of seeds. So it's not the only seed that we can get, of course, these uh, potatoes. Okay, I'm just thinking we're going to do this because we're going to pass out fairly soon. And yeah, for instance, that type of trash has a good chance of giving you the boards um, or the wooden boards that you will need. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass out fairly soon here. Do -do -do. And yeah, this video is a bit longer, but that was because we had the tutorial. Otherwise, I usually try to kind of do a day, a video per video or something. Oh, look at that. We got our first recipe. New recipe unlocked. Sunny side up. We just need two eggs for it. Very nice. Cool. Let's see if we can get a bit more of this cleared out before we pass out, right? I don't know if I can get all of it, but I'm going to try. But then we have all of that and let's get you and you and then of course we have the chicken to come and get and we have to get the upgrades to actually get it over there and is there a button over here that we can see as well yeah we we'll probably have to place something on top of that to actually open it you can see the yellow line leading over here uh, so somewhere in the world there's an en another interest and then we can get to here and there we go went poof and uh, then you'll just wake up the next day and that's when the game saves so make sure to play through the full day until you actually wake up and that's when you can close the game because otherwise it, it's not going to save your progress so uh, remember to press wake up next day and then you can exit the game and then your progress has been saved so anyway that was kind of the beginning to our new playthrough of this and um, i'm definitely going to see if i can get a lot further in this one than i did in my previous one uh, but it's probably also going to be a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a while before they have another big update um, hopefully they will get some optimization and other things sorted out before that and uh, I also noticed they didn't apparently didn't change the price with this big update the plan was for the game to be something like five dollars or euros in the very beginning when the game first released and then with the next update they changed it so it was twice that and then with the uh, it was supposed to for the next update it would be you know fifth around 15 dollars or euros and then the final the full release price is going to be around 20 uh, but they haven't changed it with this update here so i guess it's because there's still these issues with optimization and you know there's a lot more resources than you'll need so you'll easily end up feeling like maybe you have a lot more than you need and some certain buildings and things might not feel that necessary but it's all a matter of resource balancing and it's something they're going to work on in future updates just so you know but anyway that was it for today guys thank you for watching and as always do take care and happy gaming